Hi everyone, I'm back again with another anime review for you all. Tasuki to Laika to Nosferatu, or, Irina, the Vampire Cosmonaut, premiered on Monday the 4th of October. The genre is sci-fi, school, seinen, slice of life. Animation studio is Seven Arcs. Set in a fictional world, ten years after a long war divided the world into two superpowers, the Union of Zernitra Republics in the East, and the United Kingdom of Arnik in the West. Both of these superpowers now test their ambitions against each other in a space race. In 1960, the Union's premier Gergiev announces Project Mektat, Dream, a prestigious plan to launch manned missions into the final frontier. To this end, the Union establishes the isolated city of Laika 44, where cosmonaut candidates compete for planned manned missions to space, and scientists develop the technology to make it happen, all in an environment of secrecy. The story centers on Lev Leps, a backup astronaut candidate, and his new companion, the vampire Irina Rumanescu. As part of a daring new operation Nosferatu, Project Mektat will use Irina as a test subject for various conditions expected in space, and ultimately as part of a manned mission, with Lev overseeing Irina's training as a cosmonaut. For reasons of their own, both dream of going into space. The space race in an alternative universe. The start of the episode sounds rather boring with its history lesson-like approach at conveying the backstory, with an alternate reality quite similar to the real-world scenario after World War II. There are orders to send a subject into space. An animal won't be able to communicate while sending a human would be against public opinion. The solution? Use a vampire. The protagonist Lev, is given an important mission to train a vampire subject for a journey into space. Things get interesting at that point because while Lev Leps is supposed to treat subject N44, Irina the vampire is an object, his warm nature indicates just the opposite. The direction of the plot changes towards a more emotional stance. Will the vampire and the human actually get close only to be separated by an inevitable fate? Irina hates humans just as they are prejudiced against her, but you can just tell how the two protagonists are going to connect. From my perspective, the episode ends with the vampire and human still at odds, while Irina decides to never let her guard down against any human being. The episode was quite surprising. The seinen moments were also sudden, and might be disturbing for those who are new to the genre, as well as minors. The art there was rather graphic and detailed. While the episode was serious in both plot and backstory, as well as characterization, it did have some comedic undertones. Sometimes I felt the two moods clashed terribly. What I can say for sure is that this anime is an interesting watch, with its unique description of the space race, and cosmonaut training. Having an emotional aspect just gives it more allure. While depicting an alternate fictional world, there was a clear finger pointed at the rights of test subjects. The episode was a censure on what is right and wrong when it comes to experimentation versus morality. That's all I have to say about this anime. I hope you try it out. Like and subscribe for future reviews and recommendations.